welcome to Tangling along with me. We are continuing on TanglePatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do. Let's open up our book and find a place for this. So this is a uh, border. It's a lot of borders and uh, a lone standing tangles we have this time. Um, but it's all fine. I'm going to place it here, I think. So I'm going to take my black micron 01 and I'm going to start with that one. So this one is uh, started off with some uh, dots in this uh, square pattern. You might have to make it bigger. I think this could end up getting a little too small, but we will see. And then we are going to make this zigzag line of what you start here. In between these, uh, every second dot on the line. I'm just going to let that go in behind here. Oops. And if your lines isn't that straight, it's all fine. Does not really matter. So that's the first um, part of it. Then we're going to make this orb here. On uh, one side of these pointy uh, things here, just, just on one side. I'm not going to do it over here. Like that. Then I'm going to make one more warp around that, starting from the zigzag line, going around the little warp and ending on the zigzag line. So I'm just going to do that all the way down here. Like that. And I'm going to make this V line here in between. So starting on the bigger orb and ending on the bigger orb. And now we're going to make another big orb here. Again, starting from the line and ending on the line. Like that. Down here we are going to make a triangle or uh, the lines here. Like that. And then here we are going to make a um, I have a little much space between these but I'm doing with what I have here so I'm making this uh, first this V shape here and then kind of a curve so the V shape and a curve um, you can see the curve right there and then there is a few decorations on there um, I'm going to take my brown micron 01 for that so that's my light brown 01 
Uh, first of all, these uh, here are colored in in the step out. So I'm just gonna do that. could do this with the black uh, micron if you wanted to, but I like to get a little colors into mine. So I'm just going to do this with the brown. And then there is this little, kind of a little bobble here, teardrop shape, in the top of uh, the triangle here. There we go. So that's all there is to the pattern. Now it's up to us to um, make it even more interesting to look at. I take my white jelly roll, the 08, and I'm just going to color in this tiny orb in here. Like that. And I was thinking, uh, Maybe some dots here. In this empty space here. This you don't need to do. There we go. I like that. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to take my um, graphite pin here and I'm going to um, make a nice uh, dark shade here. That is going to be the top of my page. Just gonna. So I'm going to drag it in over the pattern. Like that. I think that's pretty. Uh, maybe here around the bigger orb on the inside of it Using my touchy young to make it into a shadow. And here along this one I want a darker shadow as if it's going under. Like that. Um, I was thinking here because it's like a kind of a connection there. In these so it's like they're connecting here so I'm just going to place a tiny or uh, um, shadow here 
like that. I like that. Actually, I'm thinking of taking my black micron one and then coloring, coloring uh, these uh, spaces here. black but you can do this just like you feel like There we go. So that was the pattern for today. Let's cap this one off. There we go. I found that very interesting. I like it. So that was this pattern. And thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude. <laughs>